we discovered that over 4 million servers, including VPNs and private home routers, can be abused as one-way proxies to perform anonymous attacks and potentially access private networks. So what went wrong? The problem is that misconfigured servers accept tunneling packets without verifying the sender's identity. This means an adversary can send tunneling packets to a vulnerable server, which will then forward the packets' inner data to a selected victim. As an example, take a vulnerable VPN server. The attacker can set a tunneling packet such that the vulnerable VPN will forward the inner packet to a selected victim. When the victim receives the forwarded packet, it will appear to have been sent by the vulnerable VPN server, meaning the identity of the attacker is concealed. This enables anonymous attacks such as reflection-based or amplification-based denial-of-service attacks or attacks like DNS spoofing. As a second example, take a vulnerable home router. While it can also be abused as a one-way proxy, it can potentially also be abused to access the victim's private home network. This is accomplished by making the vulnerable home router forward the inner packet to the victim's home network. This could, for instance, allow access to internal cameras, data stored on insecure network-attached storage, or it can enable control over vulnerable home automation systems. Although ethical reasons limit our testing, we suspect many networks may be susceptible to such attacks. To determine the severity of the problem, we scan the whole internet for vulnerable tunneling protocols such as GRE and IPAP. These two protocols are used to transport data between different networks. We also scan for the 6-in-4 tunneling protocol, which is used to send IPv6 traffic over existing IPv4 networks. In this example, using our ZMAP scanning modules, we detect two of our own vulnerable hosts. When comparing the packets that the attacker has sent and received, we can see that the attacker sent a packet with two headers and has received the inner header back. Our scanning method sent probe packets so that only vulnerable servers will reply. This revealed more than 4 million vulnerable hosts, including home routers of ISPs like FreeSAS, VPN servers, content delivery appliances of Facebook and Tencent, core internet routers, network storage servers, and self-hosted servers of companies. Vulnerable servers can also be abused to perform novel denial-of-service attacks. For instance, in our new ping-pong attack, the attacker will choose two vulnerable servers and force them into forwarding tunneling packets between them, thereby wasting resources. This attack has an amplification factor of more than 75. We also discovered a novel and more advanced denial-of-service attack with an amplification factor of more than 16. As a defense, servers should use authentication and more secure tunneling protocols such as IPsec or WireGuard. Networks can also use traffic filtering to block suspicious packets.